manufacturers and the protein industries. They have strict adherence to the Food Safety Modernization Act for what has to be done for us as humans to consume product. And quite often, we can't produce product that we can consume fresh for everything that we have, so it has to be frozen. There's multiple ways to do it. Uh, BRT, a variable retention time blast freezer, is one of the most efficient and effective ways of doing it as compared to a lot of labor intensive ways that people do it in traditional mechanical blast cells and what they would do with other types of technology. It's a way that you can take the product directly from the manufacturing floor, get it into a freezer to get it in the pristine condition, what it would mean for them to be shipped to the consumer point where we're going to consume it. So it dramatically cuts down on time and it reduces an awful lot of labor. Over the last 10 years, out of the number of BRTs that have been installed in North America, Primus has done more than the rest of the marketplace combined as a design and build firm. At Case Farms and our facilities, we haven't had a whole lot of automation over the years. Primus had uh, built two VRTs for a, another poultry company close to us who allowed us to come visit, talk to them about the quality of the product and how it improved everything. And we saw the workmanship and we saw the job they did there. And we chose uh, to sit down and talk to them, decided to build one in Dudley. The one in Dudley led to the one in uh, Ohio. We did the project in Dudley, great success, absolutely beautiful building, uh, works fantastically, but they wanted to do the basically a mirror image of the same facility in a different state and a different production plant. Well, how do we know that it's going to be the, the same building that we're building? And that starts off with data. Uh, by the time we got through the data on the Winesburg facility, we realized the rates were almost 50% more than what they were going on at the Dudley facility. So that obviously means bigger BRT, quicker robots. Uh, we have a depalletizing machine as well, which we don't have at the Dudley facility. So there are more components involved in making this work more than just its mirror image. At the end of our uh, North Carolina project, we did a debrief and that was uh, team-wide. That includes Charles and some of the key Case Farms folks. And we developed a list of items that were sticking points, if you will. One, they had to improve quality. Two, they had to expand what they had for production capacity and capability in a minimal footprint. And three, they were up against a schedule. And there was a fourth item here that was very, very important to them. They had already grown the hatchery to hatch the chickens. Chickens are coming. You gotta do something with them when the chickens show up. You just can't tell them, stop growing. Chickens are coming. So that's the four things that we were able to look at immediately to give them value for what they want to do with that piece of property. Communication was the big thing about staying on schedule. This project was very complex in that it had several phases, knowing what was the next step, who was involved in that next step, and how we were going to get there. So we implemented 4D scheduling on this project and it was able to help us really make our 3D imagery and the BIM modeling come to life. It was able to generate from our schedule what we're actually seeing in the field and what can be expected at a certain date. Primus has a lot of experience with automated carton freezing solutions, also known as VRTs. Uh, we've done a lot of them over the years, and the real advantage to it is that you're taking a carton, putting it into this big rectangular shaped box, which is 50 wide, 50 high, 150 feet long. As that product goes in, it basically goes through in, in 17 hours or up to 24 hours, and at the other end it spits out and it's hard as a rock. The way the VRT works is it circulates the air around the case, and because we're getting it from production, within 15, 20 minutes of the chicken being in the box, we're already putting in the VRT. With that, there's no additional moisture leaking from the cases, there's no loss of product. We're able to get it in there, get it frozen, and get it out as quickly as possible. And that's really the benefit, because we're tripling the process as the traditional blast freeze. Uh, one of the good things about this project was being able to automate this facility for the total process from start to finish. The cases are not touched by anyone. They're actually all on conveyor. They are conveyed to the VRT. Uh, they're strapped and then stacked by the robots after they come out frozen. So we'll have a much better product uh, to provide to our customers. Case Farms has entrusted us with not just, not just the dollar value of the project, but, but entrusting us to do the right thing 
build them a great facility. The partnership with Case Farms has been amazing, but we really want to continue that relationship into the future and to deliver this project uh, in a way that will make them proud and their customers proud as well. Looking back at the project, uh, we were very fortunate when we chose the Promise Group for the project here. We knew each other, we knew our quirks, we knew what we wanted, we knew what we were looking for um, already. It's a project, it's a huge project, a lot of money is being spent, so not to say there's times that you don't butt heads. That's typical in any project, any job, but you know, at the end of the day, it all worked out, we have a beautiful facility.